Hi, I'm Allison Bennett. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the notes on the neck and how to find them. I feel like a lot of players skip this step and it's really important to do because it really gives you the tools that you need to figure stuff out for yourself. So first thing is first, you have to understand the musical alphabet. The alphabet only has seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts over again on A. And between the notes that are next to each other, like A, B, and B, C, there's either a whole step or a half step. A whole step is a distance of two frets. So for example, from the fifth fret to the seventh fret is a whole step. A half step is one fret. So for example, the seventh fret to the eighth fret is a half step. So the most important thing to remember about the musical alphabet is which pair of notes are half steps and which pairs are whole steps. They're all whole steps except B and C and E and F are the half step uh, pairs. So A to B is a whole step, B to C is a half step, C to D a whole step, D to E a whole step, E to F is one of those half step ones, F to G, a whole step and G to A a whole step and then the whole alphabet starts all over again. Let's start by looking at the notes across one string. The fifth string is the A string so let's start there. Open A and then A to B is a whole step. A whole step from an open is the second fret so there's your B on the second fret. B to C is a half step. C to D is a whole step to the fifth fret. D to E a whole step to the seventh fret. E to F is a half step to the eighth fret. F to G whole step to the tenth fret. And G to A is a whole step to the twelfth fret. So here we are on A. We've come a full octave from open A. So as long as you know all of your open string note names, you can figure out where any of the notes are. So let's start in the sixth string this time. The sixth string is E, right? E to F is a half step. F is the first fret. A uh, half step is a uh, first fret from an open to first fret. And F to G is a whole step. G to A, whole step. A on the fifth fret. A to B is a whole step. B to C, half step, eighth fret, C to D, whole step, tenth fret, and D to E, whole step, twelfth fret. And there is that relationship again of an octave from open to twelve. And you can keep going past the twelfth fret as well. E, F is a half step, F, G is a whole step, etc. Since there's six strings and a lot of notes to memorize, I would advise you to start with the sixth and the fifth strings only. Once you have those memorized, you can find the other notes pretty quickly through octave shape recognition. I do have a video on octaves. You should check that out if you haven't already. So for example, if you're trying to find an A on the fourth string and you know where it is on the sixth string, then you can do the octave shape and find the A on the fourth string really quickly. The sixth and the fifth strings are strings that we base chords and riffs off of a lot in guitar. So that's another reason to know them on the sixth and the fifth strings at least. For example, if you look up a song and the chords are A to C and you don't want to do the open chords, you could find them on the neck higher up. So A is on the fifth fret and C is on the eighth fret on the sixth string. So you could do power chords. bar chords and I'll cover bar chords in another video. Also there are more notes out there. You might have wondered what is between the notes that we just discussed. For example between F and G what's this note? Well those are the accidentals. So let's take a look at those as well. Let's look at the accidentals on the fifth string. So we have A is open and then we went straight to B when we were looking at the natural notes. But this note between A and B is A sharp or B flat. It has two names for the same note. It's A sharp because it's sharp of A 
and it's B flat because it's flat of B or lower than. Then we have B, we have C. B and C is a half step relationship, so there isn't an accidental between them. Now, if you want to get technical, you could call C a B sharp, but you don't see that very often, so I'm gonna skip it. Let's move on to the fourth fret. The fourth fret note is between C and D. So it has two names, C sharp, because it's higher than or sharp of C, and D flat, because it's flat or lower than D. Let's keep going. D, this one is D sharp or E flat. Then there's E, and then there's that half step relationship again. So we're gonna not have an accidental be between E and F. Next is F sharp or G flat. There's G on the 10th fret. And then there's G sharp because it's sharp of G and A flat because it's flat of A. So to get used to these accidentals, let's go ascending on the string with sharps and descending with flats. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Now let's go down. A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A. So there are the accidentals on the fifth string, and of course you can find them on all the other strings as well. Now when you're practicing your note recognition beyond just the sixth and fifth strings, you can practice using your octave shapes as I mentioned before. So you could say, okay, I'm gonna work on all my G's right now. G, octave. So there they are on the sixth, fourth, fourth and second string. And then find my G on the fifth string is here. There's the octave. And there it is on the 15th fret or from the open. And once you get used to that, try breaking up the strings, or excuse me, breaking up the octaves by finding the note on each string. You can also challenge yourself by trying to find the notes all across one fret. A, D, G, C, E, A, for example. I like to practice my note recognition around the cycle of fourths, but you can do it really in any order you like. Just keep practicing it. It takes a while to memorize them. Just be consistent and you will start to get it. So there you have it, a little bit on the notes and how to find them on the neck. Again, so important to learn this. The application is endless on this. So be consistent, be disciplined, practice every day, and I will see you next time. Please click like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos.